Management Board is entitled to make recommendations for National Plan of Action Against Domestic Violence, monitor and report on the progress of the National Plan of Action through the Minister, conduct research on international and regional developments and deal with any matter relating to domestic violence. So when we review data from the Domestic Violence and Victim Support Unit of the Ghana Police Service, we see that from 2000, uh, 2011 to 2013, Dosu recorded a total of 54,000 cases of gender-based violence. In 2011, it was 17,985. Then it was 17,655 in 2012, 18,795 in 2013. If you compare this to the rates of conviction, that is the sentencing, the prosecution, sentencing and conviction of the perpetrators of domestic violence, you see it is very low. For instance, whereas we had uh, 17,655 cases reported in, in 2012, we had 0.67% in terms of convictions. That was um, very, very low. The statistics also show that there's an increased acceptance of domestic violence by women who are increasingly the victims of domestic violence. Statistics from the Domestic Violence Victims Support Unit, DOFSU, of the Ghana Police Service indicated that over 54,415 cases of sexual and gender-based violence were reported between 2011 and 2013. Serving as the chairman of the new board, Nana Oyelitha advised there is a need to strengthen the legal framework to serve as effective deterrent to potential offenders and ensure its effective implementation. I'd like to mention again the emerging trend of cyber-based violence. We have some provisions in our criminal code, we'll have to look at that. And also the exposure of minors to pornography and the posting of videos of minors on the internet. Recently we have heard in the media uh, circulation of sexually explicit videos and pictures involving some ladies from Tamale, from Accra and from Kumasi. It is reported that the ladies from Tamale have actually gone into hiding. I have accordingly directed that our regional director for gender and social welfare investigate, locate the ladies and provide them with the needed psychosocial support and shelter. As a ministry, we condemn in no uncertain terms such exploitative acts, especially when they involve minors. These web postings, without the consent of the persons involved, violate their rights to privacy, which is guaranteed under Article 18 of the 1992 Constitution of the Republic of Ghana. The 17 member board was sworn in by the Minister for Gender, Children and Social Protection.